patient and the surgeon agree that we need to do the surgery, we have to make sure that the patient is fit for the surgery. The process of the surgery begins with the patient need to see the, our internist to make sure that they fit for the surgery. In some patients, they need to see the cardiologist as well to make sure that the heart is okay for the surgery. And this is a big team. We have a good team that we call the multidisciplinary team in our hospital. And this will be facilitated by our international medical service. The robotic system cannot do the operation by its own. It still needs the surgeon to do the operation. So mainly, the surgeon will be the one who perform the operation for you. We start with the incision. After the incision, we start with the mapping or the morphing. So the robotic can help us to identify or to locate the deformity of the bone. Because each patient has different bone morphology, with the robotics can help to correct the data points. So normally with the very system, it can correct around 2,000 data points in each knee. So this one can help the surgeon to plan the bone cut according to each patient mode, bone morphology. Second one, after the morphing, we do a bone cut. The robotic system can help to guide the surgeon to do a more precise bone cut. After the bone cut, we put the implant for the trine and then we measure the tension of the soft tissue. Again, the valley system can help the surgeon to know exactly proper tension in each patient. When we have a good bone cut, we have a good tension, we put the final implant inside the knee. Before finishing the operation, we use the various again to make sure that everything is in a, in, in a good position, everything is in good tension. So when we have a perfect outcome during the operation, so we finish the operation.